Hi guys, it's Sarah. How are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really, really well wherever you are. Today in Newcastle, it is glorious. Too sunny for me. Um, hi, it's been a couple months. I hope you're all well. Um, you've probably been wondering where I've been and if you haven't, that's absolutely fine. We've all got our own stuff going on. Um, today's video is going to be a bit of a life update along with unboxing two kitchen boxes. So I have been recording some videos but with everything that's been going on, which I'll tell you about in a second, it's just been hard to edit. Um, so this is going to be the first one back and then I will put the rest up for you guys. So let's of all just crack open this first kitchen box. This is from July. And this is really, really cute. And then we'll jump into some, some, where have I been? So this is a, we're all happy hippies. Celebrate your inner hippie while you journey through the fields of grounded patchouli, calming frankincense, and also groovy citrus. Mellow out to the woody scents of skin softening cocoa butter and a whole lot of peace and love. Yeah, like that's cute. Oh, and I like the stickers as well. The stickers are so cute. I need to um, get a new laptop. So I want, I want to stick them on there. So yeah, where have I been? Right, well let's have a think. I've had a new job, I've got a new job, I've got a new computer, I've got a cat, I've been to hospital, nothing too crazy yet. I've had DIY done, so it's all been all over the place. So the first thing and the most important thing is the cat. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I have just adopted a cat from my friend, um, her name is Mushi, I'll put a little picture here. Um, she's 18 years old and she's just the sweetest little kitty cat ever. I've always wanted a cat from when I was like a little girl and I do have asthma and I do have allergies to pets so I always put it off and me and Alex were always saying like if we were to get a cat we would like an old cat so then it can see out its best life with, with us. And then, obviously, if I've got allergies, that's fine. I can last however long the old cat will last. And I don't ever have to get a cat again. Um, but I didn't want to get a kitten and then have allergies and then suffer for 20 years <laughs> with allergies. Um, but, amazingly, I've got no allergies. Unless she gives me the odd little scratch and I come out in hives. But my asthma's been great. My itchiness oh and I, if sometimes I got a bit of hair in my um, a bit of a hair in my eye and um it was a bit itchy but it's been absolutely fine and I can't believe that I've waited until the ripe age of 34 to get a cat when I could have had one earlier but I couldn't have asked for a better cat she is truly truly amazing today is the first day that we let her out in the garden so we've had her for just shy of uh, just over two weeks it'll be yeah two just over two weeks and um, we've had her chipped and I just wanted to make sure that all of our details were up to date and then she really got used to our smell before we let her out. So we let her have a little walk in the garden. It was really magical seeing her step out for the first time. I'll see if I can put the video up of her stepping out, but it was just so cute. And she had a good sniff around, she had a good pee, mark her territory. Um, but I really love her and Alex does too. She loves Alex and it's so annoying. And why doesn't she love me more? I wanted to love me more. I'm gonna That's for me one of the most important things that's happened over the past couple of months. So let's delve into this box. This box is all like citrusy and grounding. So the first thing I'm gonna pull out is lava lamp. It's missing one of its lavas, one second. I love this bath bomb. It is a messy bath bomb, but it's amazing. It's so nostalgic. So you've got three purple cocoa butter bath melts. You've got this bright orange fast fizzing um, bath bomb. So the water turns obviously orange, just like in a lava lamp. And then those purple oils will pool up and down the water like a lava lamp. Now, with any bath oil, the oil can stick to the side of the bath, but it comes off okay with Sif. It's a truly uplifting, beautiful bath bomb, and I love the design of it. It's super simple, but the way it looks is super effective, and I think I'm actually gonna have this in my bath tonight, because I want something quite refreshing. Then we've got, ho oh, ho, oh, the, it's got a little bit of stuff on it. We've got the Happy Hippie Kitchen Exclusive Body Lotion. Our groovy grapefruit and frankincense fragrance in a hydrating almond oil and fair trade organic cocoa butter body lotion. So this is a 250 gram bottle, so that's pretty good. Let's have a try. So I've got a nice little bloop on there. 
oh it's a, it's a definitely like a, a thin smell a thin thin uh, texture wow that's lovely and orangey oh that's lovely it's when you sniff it you get like, this lovely burst of orange I know people online were saying that it's a lot lighter than what they thought but honestly when I say orange it's grapefruit isn't it yeah god but it's really lovely it's re I was kind of humming and hawing about like whether or not I wanted to keep this or give it away um but this is very summery and I love this so this is a win for me oh the ingredients we've got water almond oil fair trade organic cocoa butter glycerin grapefruit oil bergamot oil olibanum oil and then you've got like your citronella and genera and all and all, all, things like that at the bottom but this is gorgeous and it's a 250 gram bottle not to be sniffed at then we've got this little tiny nubbin Ooh, oh that smells really good this is obviously a bubble bar it smells very floral but very grounding it I know this smell but I can't think what it is we'll come back to that we've got a squeaky green shampoo bar I'm shampoo barred up to the wazoo here oh no it's not it's karma combo shampoo mmm oh my god I've not had one of these for ages this makes your hair so shiny mmm yum well I've got banana co-wash in the bathroom right now so when that's finished that is going in because that smells bloody amazing and then last but not least we've got chamomile lawn soap I loved these when these came out there was this one there was a, 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 a like a violet one and then there was like a citrusy one with like soap swirls they always remind me of like little irons with the shape I know that some some more kind of theatrical people might say like arches and things like that but I always think like an iron oh yeah it's very gentle it smells just like the chamomile bath bomb that you can get right now um for world bath bomb day very gentle very soothing this would be great if you had sensitive skin and I don't think you can see <sighs> you can't but with the way the light shines through it is so cool that's gorgeous I will be honest like I was a bit like meh about this box but now I've opened it up I've had a whole I'm just seeing if there's anything else in here now I've opened it up I actually think it's really a lovely box we'll quickly go through the ingredients and then I'll tell you about another update <laughs> in my life so we've got chamomile lawn soap propylene glycol German chamomile infusion water fair trade organic cocoa butter extra version coconut oil organic castor oil Lavender oil, uh, lavender absolute, chamomile blue, neroli oil with some titanium dioxide and some colours and bits and bobs in it. This smells so good. Then your lava lamp, sodium bicarb, citric acid, fair trade organic cocoa butter, perfume, orange flower absolute, Sicilian red mandarin oil, tangerine oil, water, extra virgin olive oil, organic castor oil. And then you've got your colours. Oh, it's so good. I can't wait to have that in my bath. I can't wait. Ooh, okay. This is called Temple of Truth what is that smell oh is it oh 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 that's on the tip of my tongue sodium bicarb cream of tartar uh guac wood uh whole wood oil sandalwood oil what is that smell don't tell me don't tell me oh, it's a perfume it's a perfume that they do but i can't think what it is and then your karma comba a shampoo bar sodium cocoa sulfate so not sls so it's a little bit more gentler on the hair and scalp and um, you've got dark sumatran patchouli oil brazilian orange oil lavender oil pine oil lemongrass oil alimi oil dried roman chamomile flower that's just the decoration uh, gardenia extract and water oh it smells so good i can't kind of want to just take the banana co wash out and put that in but waste not want not so that is all of july's box I think this is a Kraken box actually. I think it's a really, really good box. Is it July's box? Or June's box? June's box. When was this? I don't even know when this was. I don't even know what, what box that was. So June is normally a citrusy month, isn't it? Guys, can you tell me what box this is? I've, I've literally forgotten. It's been so long. So next up on the life update, I got a new job. I got a job. So, some might say, and I say, the job of my dreams. I am now the manager of a Lush shop. And it's been a long time coming. Um, I've applied over the years, over the last couple of years, uh, not been successful and that's fine. Um, but this time it has and I'm so grateful for the team that I've got, 
They're all absolutely wonderful, really cracking girls. They work so hard, they're so funny, they're so clever, and um, I'm just loving every minute of it. I feel like free, if that makes sense. Um, a lot of my mental health um, issues stemmed um, from stagnation and other things that I, I don't want to go into. And having this new role has has lifted so many weights off my shoulder. And to work with such wonderful, wonderful people who care and are enthusiastic and are fun to be around. Um, not saying that anybody who I used to work wasn't fun or enthusiastic. God, that sounds terrible. Um, yes, all. Um, it's just a whole new breath of fresh air and I needed that um, so thank you guys and thank you to everyone who I used to work with in Newcastle because they really did uplift me and inspire me to go for it they've they, to be fair they've done it every time and they've been nothing but supportive in any way that they can and I think that that is a true testament to somewhere where you work, that they want to see you grow, they don't want to stop you, um, and they want to see you flourish. And I think that's something that I want to see for my colleagues um, in my new store, um, so that people can really shine. And um, yeah, and everyone that I worked with in Newcastle, I do miss dearly. And if I could have you all with me, I would. Um, I can't though, because my shop's so it is a shame that I don't get to see those familiar faces. So that's been since the end of May. Um, I have seen some people who I used to work with. So it's lovely having a catch up. Um, you know who you are. And it's just been a wonderful, wonderful first couple of months. I'm excited for my first Halloween and my first Christmas as a manager. It's going to be fun. It's going to be scary. But I'm, I'm excited. I'm really really excited so that's another thing as well it's just like I've got more responsibility I've got things back-end things that I never would have had to have thought about to do um, and and sometimes I just I come home and I've just had such a lovely day but I'm tired and I just want to chill out and watch the telly have dinner play with my cat see Alex and, and yeah, it's just hard. I'm trying to to balance that out more and I think going forward I will be able to. Um, but I'm just finding my footing. Just finding my footing. <laughs> so, second update whilst I rip open this box. Second update. We finally got the flooring put down in the floor. So I want to say a big thanks to Mushy for spurring us on. If it hadn't been for Mushy the cat, uh, we probably still would be without a floor. We didn't want her to, we didn't want to get a pet and then to have like loads of noise and banging and drilling and stuff like that. So, excuse me whilst I'm looking for a pair of ah, tweezers. Uh, yeah, we didn't want like loads of banging and I know that's inevitable, but like, especially if they're like brand new into the area. So we kind of wanted it all to be nice for her. Um, also, it wasn't safe to have her in the house whilst before we had the work done because we had stuff everywhere. So another thing that's really mentally impacted me on the positive is not only her, but because of her coming, we have tidied, I mean, don't, this is tidy, okay? I tidied this, this is still messy, but it's tidy. But we have tidied so much of the house. The house has never been cleaner. It's never been, I've never seen so much space and again that is just that other that mental weight that was like blocking me for so long um now has has been lifted yeah i have to hoover more because there's little mushy fuzzes everywhere but as a general rule it's so much tidier and coming home to a tidier home again it's just great instead of having to like be like oh gotta do this again and we're keeping on top of it you know we're doing it every week uh like the main like we do like daily swifts and daily hoovers and things like that, but we're doing like a weekly sword and a weekly dust and things like that. And my God, it it does wonders for your mental health. It's just finding the motivation and Mushi was that motivation. So thanks, hon. So now I'm gonna open up July's box. Is this July? No, August box, August box, August box. 
that must have been June's then, because uh, the July one was the Turtles one, which you'll see in another video. Um, so this is the Community Favourites box. Um, so you can see the ever so lovely Finley up here. And we've got another lovely sheet of stickers. I wish Finley's face had been a sticker. And then we could have stuck them on. I suppose you can cut it out. Finley, why aren't you a sticker? You should have been a sticker. Um, so this is Finley's pick for the box. And um, I think he's chose very well. It says, hey, I'm Finley. As a member of the community team and host of Lush Reveals, I'm on a mission to introduce you to the latest and greatest products and launches. This month's box is a selection of scents that I absolutely love and wholeheartedly hope you do too. Keep an eye out for more community faves and new creations. P.S. I also co-run the Lush Discord server, so if you haven't joined, click the Discord button on your digital stories and join the platform and come say hi. I definitely recommend, I'm just going to pop this here. There you go, you can scan that. I really, really, really recommend joining the Discord. If you are interested in Lush, if you want to see when new stuff is going to come out, Finley puts it all on there. He's really good. He sneaks peeks everything. Also, if you want to have a say in kind of upcoming things that are being created, Finley does like, little Google forms where you can write down scents of things that you really like, that would be, I'm gonna have to take these socks off. If I ever wanted to kind of have a say about what products you would love to come uh, out to Lush, um, then Finley puts up like kind of Google forms for like, we did one for shower gels, which is, I think some of them are still available on the website. Um, plus it's a really great place to talk about like your favourite products. If you're, if you're new to Lush and you're like, oh, I don't know how to use a shampoo bar. How do you use a shampoo bar? You can talk on that. Obviously, you can ask me in the comments and I will help and I will tell you. Um, but the community is really lovely. Um, and if you, again, if you are new, um, I have been very fortunate as part of being a Lush super fan uh, to be invited to places and events that Lush have held. And um, Finney does put on there when there are going to be events coming up. And I think there is one coming up to do with spa um, down in Covent Garden maybe Liverpool and Glasgow as well so please 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 if that's something that you sound like the sound of definitely go check it out because it's a really good fun it, it the, the community is a great place to be so let's dive in I'm going to pull out one thing and then we'll do another update or actually do is I'll do a couple and then because I've been waffling on for so long I've got so many packing peanuts I don't know what to do with them right I'm going to pull out this whoa we've got a pot Flying Fox Body Lotion. Feeling foxy? Soften and scent the skin with organic cocoa butter, floral liangalang and heavy jasmine. Now, Flying Fox and Lust are not for everyone and I get that. But for me, oh my God. It is sweet. It is very heady and floral. It's quite a Marmite smell. I'm not going to lie. Um... Not that it smells like Marmite, but you either love it or you hate it. I'm going to put it on this arm. Um, oh, that soaks in so quick. <gasps> I like this formula. Oh, this formula is lovely because it's there, but like it's just gone so clean. That is so lovely and like and sweet and floral. So Lust, Flying Fox, Godiva, very heady jasmine. What it reminds me of when I smell this is think of yourselves on holiday in Greece and you're going out for an evening meal you know it's kind of that warm heat there's like crickets in the background and you're walking to your favorite restaurant and you've got that warm heat in there that you can smell and then you can smell these beautiful jasmine flowers as they open up on the evening so sweet and, and kind of aromatic and it's such a very sensual smell. Jasmine is an aphrodisiac. Um, it's got these undertones that are very primal. And so it is quite a sexy smell. But I understand why it's not for everyone. Because it is a very strong smell. This is quite... a little. It's not as intense as Lust Perfume. It's a little bit sweeter. It's a little bit gentler. Um, you could definitely wear this as like a daytime body lotion. Because it soaks in quickly. But also the smell is very sweet and it doesn't feel too evening whereas I feel like lust for me would be like an evening smell but it's very transportative and it definitely feels like you're on holiday that's beautiful the ingredients are water uh almond oil fair trade organic cocoa butter glycerin cypress oil uh, jasmine absolute palmarosa oil ylang ylang oil yeah it's gorge 
and it says use your paws to apply all over your body beautiful uh what have we got next i'm gonna pull out this big one so finley this is not one for me but i know a lot of people love this this is prince charming um, I might give it to my Prince Charming so he can use it. It says, the sweet scents of marshmallow root and vanilla pod infusion rescue you from boring showers. Um, so this is, I'm just gonna have to, my hands are all moisturized. This is a very popular shower gel. Got it all over my hands. It is very, I might, I'm gonna give it to Alex, but I might have a little try in the shower since he pinches all mine. It's fruity, it's sweet. Um, you get a lot of geranium in there. I don't know if it's growing on me, but Prince Charming has never been a smell for me purely because of the geranium. I love real geraniums. I have geraniums in my garden, but they are very pungent. So in here, you have got marshmallow root and vanilla pod infusion. You've got glycerin, titanium dioxide, grapefruit oil, sandalwood oil, geranium oil, fresh pomegranate juice, carrageenan extract, water. For me, you can really smell the geranium, but Alex can have this because he is my Prince Charming. Um, and I know a lot of you would be really excited about that. It hasn't been out for the last few Valentine's days, so I know a lot of you will be dying to get your mitts on it. <laughs> Plus, it is a nice 250 gram size bottle. Another life update hospital don't worry don't worry um so as you might know if you've been following for a while i've got a hiatus hernia don't know, don't know why i went blokey there i've got a hiatus hernia oh i went a bit uh west country there didn't i um but i've got a hiatus hernia that means my stomach peeks up through my diaphragm and it causes retching sickness acid reflux it's horrific and it's also really painful at times um that means that i can just be walking around and just going Bleh. yeah but much worse because I, I i wrecked really badly um so it's been ongoing now since 2022 um i've had it rip a couple more times since my hospital appointment which i'm going to bring up with them uh, my throat has been swollen due to the acid reflux which i'm gonna have to mention to them which meant that I struggled to swallow, um, which is something that can be a side effect of that and they have to be aware of that. Um, so they're gonna do, next week, I'm going to hospital to have something done. I don't really understand it. It's to monitor the pH, the acid within my stomach. And then I, and I've gotta stay there for an hour after or two hours after I go home and then I go the next day. Yay, exciting. Um, and yeah we'll see how it goes um because i could end up having surgery to be honest i really want surgery because i'm absolutely sick of it it's doing me nothing it's it's been quite uncomfortable for the past two years at certain times some uh, again with my mental health improving it, it hasn't um which is also really impacting with my stomach and things like that um it has got better but the acid reflux and the retching has been really bad and also um at, at at the moment i am struggling to do delivery so bending up bending over and picking up loads of boxes um i get really out of breath i think because of everything being pushed up but also um i feel sick and the retching and it's just crap and uh yeah i'm going to hospital about it you may also hear my computer in the background um it needs a new fan, so it's like really loud. Sometimes it sounds like an aeroplane kicking off. Right, let's open up the next thing. It's a bath bomb. Oh my God. It smells like ginger. Oh, this is um, lemon days and ginger bath bomb. Oh my God. This smells so good. Oh, I wonder what it looks like. It's got like loads. I don't know how, if you can see like the little kind of grainy bits in it i don't know if that's like blitz up ginger oh my god i was never like a huge ginger fan of the perfume then something clicked in me and i was like i love ginger um oh god that smells so good finley you have picked a good one there why don't you bring this out bring this out oh my god it smells so good mm, yum, 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 yum. i love that okay next up we've got happy facade shower jelly 
So oh, it says, let the light back in on those dark and gloomy days with a fresh white lily infusion and a citrus scented shower. Now, I know obviously I can't let Mushy anywhere near this because of the lily. Oh, that smells really good. Um, and I won't let her lick me when I have this. Um, but this is what it looks like, this beautiful dark purple. I don't know how well you can see. Oh, it looks so perfect on here. How purple it looks. Oh my God, the way the light shines through it. And you can't see, it just looks like a black void. But it's this beautiful, it's, I would say that this is my ideal shade of purple. Beautiful wibbly wobbly jelly. Ooh. And it's so uplifting. You can definitely smell neroli in there. It's citrusy, but like not overpowering. That would pair up really nicely with the Happy Hippie um, body lotion that we got in the other box. Um, but the ingredients are uh, glycerin, fresh white lily infusion, fair trade organic aloe vera gel, carrageenan extract, neroli oil, grapefruit oil, Sicilian red mandarin oil. It's absolutely beautiful. So SAD, SAD, is seasonal affective disorder. So although we're, we are in August and it's nice and sunny, um, this will be quite nice in the winter months going up. Uh, all that neroli, it's scientifically proven to boost serotonin in the brain, which I think will be perfect if you're having those kind of low moods, glowing moods. Um, so, yeah. And another life update is, whilst all this has been going on and things have been lifted and, and you know, and I've I've been to pool to make my own fresh and flowers box with some amazing content creators and I've been a big girl and I've gone to my first manager's meeting and I got to see Christmas and Halloween and I've worked other shop floors I've I don't know like there's still something like not a hundred percent right and sometimes I just I lack motivation and I lack passion on certain things and this is a passion for me and I found it really hard to kind of get that passion that that energy that thing so I know that when I post this and I see you all comment it's really going to spur me on um but it's I think it's one of those things where like you bury your head in the sand when it's been so long you're like oh well it's been so long mm, mm, and you keep putting it off and you keep putting it and you keep putting it off and you keep putting it off but I'm here now and I'm not going anywhere and don't worry there will be a giveaway I've got all my stuff and um, I'm going to talk about it in my next video um, because we hit 4,000 which I'm so grateful for um, and I keep adding things to it I've just found a whole load more stuff so I had recorded it on one of the other videos but I'm going to crop that out and I'm going to collate everything together so that you guys can see it all because I've just found a whole load of more stuff so I would rather do it as one big thing so just keep an eye out for that and then last but not least we have exhale perfume look i love these beautiful vials come on pick up exhale there we go these beautiful beautiful vials so this if you didn't know is one half of breath of god so you've got inhale you've got exhale these are the top and the base notes David, if you're watching this correct me if i'm wrong and jamie too and um, these are the top and base notes that make breath of god so inhale if you've ever had diamond dust bath bomb it's the same smell so it's very sweet and powdery and floral and incensey whereas exhale it's very woody and smoky and deep and dark and um, they used to do this in a perfume oil uh many years ago so let's have a, a whiff oh my god oh my god that is stunning that's like crunkled, crunkled old leather jackets, old books, wooden floors. Oh, someone's smoking a cigarette nearby and it's wafting over. A little bit of aftershave. It's like, like a cool, like a cool dude. Like a cool dude. He's got his leather jacket on. He's got a nice big beard, long hair. He's smoking. And he's just, oh, yeah. Ooh, I might spray this on Alex. Watch out, Alex. <laughs> oh, that smells so freaking good. Ooh, 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 ooh. But yeah, that is everything from these two boxes. That is a bit of a life update for me. Um, My God. 
That's so freaking sexy. I'm going to spray Alex with it and let you know. Um, so I hope you have been doing really, really well. And thank you for sitting through this very long video. I really appreciate it. Um, you guys really do mean a lot to me and I'm sorry I've been away. I have posted a little bit on, on Instagram and TikTok and, and on the shorts on YouTube. Um, but I will be back now. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. And if you really liked it, you can subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 4,500 subscribers. Uh, giveaway coming soon because I'm going to collate everything. Because like I say, I found some stuff in those boxes up there. Um, yeah, you can follow me on my socials here. And of course, YouTube will recommend some videos at the end. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's a long video. And I know you guys like a long video. And I'll see you in the next one.